Hey YouTube, this is your girl Shakes, and I am finally in a position where I think I can do a decent video and you can see the color of my eyeshadows. So, um, what I want to do today is a strawberry shortcake inspired look. Um, this is the look. Um, the colors are not picking up as, mu as much as I would like them to, but it's picking up more than what it normally does, so I'll just walk you through it. I wish you could see this setup situation that I got going on here to make this happen. I tell you. So what I just applied to my lid is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Um, I've used some other primer potions. That one is my favorite. And the, pur the purpose of a primer potion, of course, is to um, allow your eyeshadow to stay on a little bit longer, get some longer wear. What I'm applying next is the NYX Pencil, Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I just put a couple of dots on, and that's to create a white base so that my colors can stand out a little bit more. Now, if you are my Facebook friend and you are watching this, I've gotten so many inboxes about how I do my eyeshadow. This is going to, I guess, benefit you guys. Because y'all have been asking me. If y'all have a YouTube, I want you to go to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Because I think I'm going to be doing it a little bit more than what I have been. So, I'm just going to apply a piece of tape in the corner of my eye. From the corner of my eyebrow to my eyelid. Um, the first thing I'm going to use is going to be my blending brush. And I'm going to use the green out of this Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to use the matte green. And I am just going to go into my crease with it. Building up in that corner to the mid part of my eye. And I'm also going in circular motions. I hope you can see it. And I want that color to kind of stand out on this video some. So I'm going to pack it on as much as I can. Now something else you can do is take a regular eyeshadow brush. Apply the eyeshadow. Then get your blending brush and go in circular motion. So there I have it. Um, and I'll probably add on a little bit more. The next is I'm going to do my LA Colors, the lightest pink. This one is called Tiki Punch. And that's a light shimmer color. Sometimes I have problems with my eyeshadows um, staying on. So I want to fill my brush up with the product. Then I'm going to take my MAC, uh, MAC, MAC, MAC uh, 6 Plus spray at one time. And I'm just going to add that light pink to the beginning part of my eyelid. I wish the color was picking up a little bit more, but I can't um, stress myself about it. Because if I do, then I end up not having a video for you. So I'll be having to make some, some decisions. So I'm packing that color in the middle. Next to it is a darker pink. I'm going to get a little bit of product on my brush using the same brush. Squirt it with my Fix Plus. And then I'm going to add that into the green. Let me just try one thing with this light to see if this helps any. Nope, it drowned the color out. That just seems like it's drowning it out. So, I think I just. I'm going to go back and add a little bit more of that light pink in the corner. Um, let me see what I got going on now. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just blend that out because I don't want it to be above my crease area. So what I'm going to do now is 
I am going to add a little bit of Urban Decay's Vert. Is another green towards the top part of the green that I already have. So it kind of looks like I have two shades of green on. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush, which kind of looks like the tip of a pencil. I'm going to take this NYX palette, which is Spoil Brat, and I'm going to get that black glitter. And I'm just going to go in my crease with that black glitter, because I want to define my crease some. Then I'm going to take my blending brush with my circular motions, staying in that crease. Now what I want to do is take a really, really small brush with that same full brad palette. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the silver at the top, spray it with the Fix Plus. Hit the corner tear duct at the top and the bottom. the top and the bottom. Take the hot pink out of the full brat. Now I don't have no primer or anything on the bottom of the other lid. Normally I do the same. I'll prime it or whatever. I was moving too fast so I don't want them to look that different. So I spray the full brat hot pink with the Fix Plus. Using that same brush. And then I take that vert, that green, all the way to the end, spraying it with the six plus as well. All the way to the end. So at this point, I can take off my tape, which should give me that straight edge. Um, what I'm gonna do now? now I'm going to line my eyelids with a Wet n Wild gel liner and an angle brush. And I extend my lid starting real small in the front. Real thin in the front rather. And you also can hit your waterline with it. And then I apply my mascara. So I'm going to apply my mascara and then I'm going to take a couple of close-up picks. Oh, my highlight. I didn't put my highlight on. My highlight is out of the Wet n Wild. I use the matte medium brown and the light, the medium beige and the light beige. And I just do that in my entire highlight area. And I'll probably touch up my foundation under my eye and on the side where I had the tape. I'll take a couple of pictures for you at the end. I hope you like it. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions that I didn't address in the video, go ahead and ask me them. And I'll talk to y'all later.